New at 11, a hit-and-run victim is in the hospital with severe injuries. She will need multiple surgeries. But tonight, her family has already forgiven the driver. A semi-truck hit the woman in Orlando's College Park neighborhood at Edgewater Drive and Yale Street. News 6's Brian Didlake spoke to her friends tonight. I don't have words for it. Like, all of my thoughts, like, it's all day. It's been just only... Only about her. Anastasia Mishchenko says all she can do right now is pray for her friend Victoria Murovitska. <laughs> Early Monday morning, Murovitska was riding her scooter to work when she was hit by a semi truck in the area of Edgewater Drive and Yale Street. Orlando police arresting this man, Carlos Roberson. He's being charged with leaving the scene of a crash. In an arrest report, camera footage revealed the semi-truck made a left on Yale Street striking the victim. The semi stopped after the collision for a short period of time before leaving the scene. When we found her, um, she was under a jo uh, Jane Doe. So when mm -hmm. we came, she had no identification on her. Leah Ivanitska, Victoria's roommate, says Murovitska moved to Orlando in January and is an Ukrainian refugee. She says it was a miracle Victoria was able to call her co-worker to get her help. I don't even know how it's the grace of God. Yeah. And he was able to rush to the scene, call the police and get her rushed to the hospital. Praying for a speedy recovery, Ivanitska and Mishinko say Victoria's main support is her church community. Police say the driver left the scene because he was scared. Victoria's family tells Mishinko that they forgive him, but they're putting right now all their focus on Murovitska's recovery. She saw so much and having to flee, still having family members back in Ukraine, is it's so difficult for her and we just try to love on her the best that we can. Now, due to Murovitska being a refugee, she does not have insurance. It's why loved ones have set up a GoFundMe as she starts her recovery process. We have a link to that in our website at clickorlando.com. But for now, in the newsroom, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.